Okie doke, folks. Welcome back. Time for level four. Let's go. Let's play. Uh, well, you know all the drill here. Still can't really do anything, so let's just go. Good show, gang. The base is ours. Yay! Yeah, but we're not out of the woods yet. We got the mechanical crews working double time to get the Pandora rigged out for the salvage operation. Now, Sparks figures they'll be ready by tomorrow morning, which means we're on patrol duty and plenty of it. Swell. Babysit. That's right. And if anyone comes along while the Pandora's in dock, our baby's a sitting duck. So stay sharp out there, people. We lose her? <laughs> well, it's a long swim back to the mainland. <laughs> you got ten minutes to get your gear and hit the skies. Good hunting! And Betty, your turns are good, but watch those climbs. Gotcha, sir. Short and to the point. That's unusual for Nathan Zachary. Okie doke, so you see, our wingman's got the, uh, the Devastator. That should be Betty, I think. Uh, and here we've got the Gypsy Magic, good old Devastator. We've still only got the Devastator and the Belmoral to choose from, so... We've only got the Devastator to choose from. So, uh, not a whole lot to choose uh, otherwise here. Got our Explosive Ammo, Armor Piercing Slugs, probably not going to use those last two. High Explosive, can't go wrong with those, so let's just go! Alright, here we go, and we are immediately under attack. Gotta take these guys out before they can take down the base. Okay. That was a bit of a rocky start to a level, but this one doesn't get much better. So we'll go on through here, collect some money so we can buy upgrades later on. We gotta get over to the corn silo. see a World War One era aircraft carrier back there. It's going to cause us all kinds of problems. And what is this? This looks like trouble, folks. Oh, boy. Swing back around, take out as many of these U-boots as we can. Ah, they're tougher than they look. wave of these guys. Luckily, the PT boats aren't too tough. Alright, let's see what we can do about this aircraft carrier. Oh! Fine, forget it. I'm gonna focus fire on the U-boats. And I've completely run out of secondary ammunition, so let's crack this guy open. And... Got some root beer, got some rockets, we're good. Uh. Okay, next wave is here again. Now, I'm not positive, but I believe these planes and PT boats just keep coming until we take down these U-boats. So let's focus on that. There's... there we go, there we go. And we're out of rockets again. Okay, a little bit more ammo. Alright. 
right, that was a good run. Silo's not looking too hot. Okay, who's left? This one. And this one. Air brakes, air brakes, yes! That's right. Well, hooray! We saved the corn silo. And now we'll... Wait a minute. Oh, shucks. You know what? I think I might have loaded up the wrong game here. Hold on a second. Okay, fellas. The work crews are getting close to finish down there. Let's keep them safe until they're done. Copy that, Chief. If there's one thing I hate, it's babysitting. I never had a babysitter as funny looking as you, Jack. If I were them workers, I'd ask for my money back. <laughs> All right, you chatterboxes, get back to work. Well, sorry about that. I do have so many games, I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. So, basically, just gotta keep the Pandora alive while we uh, rig up those. Uh... Heads up! Oh. Bandits coming in on the Pandora! I make four peacemakers, British markings! Whoops. <laughs> now, this is more like it! Right, let's get this clear, pirate. You are to surrender this fight and withdraw at once. Yeah? On whose authority? by the authority of His Majesty the King. <laughs> King George or King Kalaniano? The last time I checked a map, this was still in white waters. Bloody troublemaker, I'm warning you. Look, mate, unless you want a first-class beating, I suggest you scram. Right, if it's a fight you want, then a fight you shall have. Carry out, boys! Prepare yourself oh my for goodness. All right. I love the devil over. Damn aces. They're trouble, I tell ya. This chick sounds like the, the Geico. Okay, so there's somebody on my tail. Definitely something you want to avoid. Whoops, and that's Betty. Think again, old boy. I've almost got this one thing. Big John here. I'll take you through me hits. Over. On your left, Bandit, at 9 o'clock high! Prepare yourself for a proper thrashing! <laughs> when you hit the ground, Dylan Nathan Zachary sent you! You saw me getting some support fire from the Pandora there. As we get farther and farther into the game, you'll start to realize that the Zeppelins are extremely dangerous. John, not good. They're all over me. Cause you all kinds of problems. On your right, Bandit Barry, three o'clock low. Below you, Bandit oh my at twelve o'clock low. They're everywhere. Watch out, Bandit at nine o'clock low. First wave of enemies is destroyed. Keep your eyes peeled for additional attackers. Well, that was simple enough. Hey, Captain, what's that? Something in the water, moving towards the mouth of the bay. I'm not sure. I'll fly down and get a closer look. Hmm. What could that be? An aircraft carrier. Oh, wait a minute. 
Looks like some sort of submarine. Some Big sort of too. submarine. Well, let's take a look. This is the HMS Barracuda. We are here to reclaim this base. Leave at once, or prepare to die, pirates. <laughs> oh, really? And what are you going to do? Launch a torpedo at us? As you wish, pirates. Oh! Holy Joe. Wake up, gang! That sub, she's launching planes! Some sort of internal hangar! I don't believe it! I can't pronounce Bakaruda. Well, good golly gosh. That's the spot, fellas. A few more hits there, and that submarine will be out cold. Listen up, you mugs. See that opening where the planes are launching from? Fire whatever you've got into it. That internal hangar's bound to have something flammable in it. Copy that, boss. Good Oops. thinking. There we go. Watch out, bandit! Nine All right, let's cause some trouble. Where is everybody? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Things are getting rough real quick around here. Hello. The pirate slipped away, but I'll get him yet. Oh sh shoot! No wonder this isn't working. I had my armor-piercing bullets selected. Damn submarine! Above you, bandit! At Twelve o'clock high. In front of you, bandit! At Twelve o'clock. The hull is being breached. The engine room flooded. All personnel, abandon ship. Happy swimming, boys, and remember, that's what happens when you tangle with the fortune hunters. On your left, bogey at 9 o'clock. In front of you, bandit at This is going badly. Prepare yourself for a proper thrashing. On your right, bandit bearing 3 o'clock low. Ooh. Now, lucky for me, unlike in the Mech Warrior series, you don't have to pay for your uh, repairs and damaged components after uh, after each mission. That was uh, something that got a little old. So you can bang your plane up all you want, and you don't have to worry about it. That's the way to do it. Hey. This ought to buy us the time we need to get out of here and grab that treasure. On an old Titanic there. Or, uh, Exxon Valdez. Hooray! Dang, sinister subs. Alrighty, well, seven peacemakers and one ace. Not too bad if I do say so myself. So let's see, got a photograph of old smug face himself. Jesus, look at that guy. Betty looks awfully familiar, but I couldn't tell you from where. There's old Jack, freaking weirdo. Where's my dog? Anyway, armature deployment and capital. Aha, aha, aha. Okay, so these are the instructions for those uh, those crazy cranes that uh, we were attacking the base to take in the first place. These are what's gonna let us recover Drake's treasure, which uh, you know we're still dealing with after all these levels. So there I am doing something. These guys are flying around. Hooray. Um, okay, not a whole lot of stuff on that one. Still no money, thanks a lot. Uh, so let's... Return to the cabin, and uh, once again, no new plane, so let's just take a look at the plane of the day. It's going to be the B-36 Convair. All right, today's plane of the day is the B-52's daddy, the Convair B-36 Peacemaker. It was a strategic bomber built by Convair for the U.S. Air Force from 1949 to 1959. It was the largest mass-produced piston aircraft ever made. 
It had the longest wingspan of any combat aircraft ever built, though there have since been larger military transports. The B-36 was the first bomber capable of delivering nuclear weapons that fit inside the bomb bay without special modifications. With a 6,000 mile range, the B-36 was the first operational bomber with intercontinental range. This set the standard for later Air Force longer range bombers like the B-47, B-52, and B-1. While revolutionary for the time, the B-36 had a host of problems. Being as large as it was, the B-36 could not fit in most hangars. Since the planes needed to be stationed as close to the enemy as possible, the maintenance crews performed their work in conditions ranging from 100 degrees in the summer to negative 60 in the winter. More so than other large aircraft, the B-36 was extremely prone to engine fires. Because the engines were arranged in a pusher configuration, the air flowed backwards through the engine, preventing the carburetor from being warmed by the exhaust air. Ice would form and obstruct the air intake, increasing the richness of the fuel-air mixture until the unburned fuel in the exhaust caught fire. This led to the first loss of an American nuclear weapon. Ultimately, the B-36 was obsolete from the moment it entered service. It was a propeller aircraft in an age of jet interceptors and surface-to-air missiles. It was expected to deliver a weapon it was never designed to carry, and jet bombers like the B-52 were already becoming feasible. While it never fought in the war it was built for, the B-36 remains an example of the great transition in aircraft technology and tactics that followed World War II.